Hello everybody, welcome back to more Enter the Gungeon Mod the Gungeon. We're gonna go into the Gungeon as the Paradox. I figured, you know what? Why not? I don't know if Mod the Gungeon items can be added on Paradox as a start. I figure they probably can. I guess I don't know why they wouldn't be able to be added, but I thought it, you know, as good as any other character to get pop on in at the very least. We'll see what we get here. We also got our stats over there on the left. I wonder if we could get a little little hint about what we're getting or if we technically don't pick up our passive until we get in here are you, are you kidding me what is this blessing slash curse that we continually have showing up oh my god junkin will not leave my side. I probably should not be using the command, though, to start out with. But alas, here we are. Anywho, I, before we get too far in, I just want to make an announcement real quick if you did somehow miss it. New series out on the channel if you have not seen it. One Step from Eden. If you if you don't know what the game is, it's effectively a, a super fast-paced action roguelike deck builder that's been sweeping the roguelike nation. It's like it's pretty light on the deck builder. It's pretty uh, pretty high on the the fast pace dodging in action. Pretty light on the deck builder, uh, but but there's definitely deck builder elements for sure as far as like picking what your uh, your spells and abilities do. But if you've not seen it, please go give it a look. I'm uh I'm, I'm really excited about it. It was it was the game that was selected as uh, the Patreon poll thing. So hopefully y'all are interested in giving it a peek. We got a handful of new uh, new mod changes. I believe there's some new items since last time. I don't know if there's new items in Never Name since last time, but Not a Bot has a new pack out with uh, a couple new items. Expand the Gungeon got changed a bit. Large rooms have been uh, have had their frequency nerfed, and apparently there's been a balance pass on them as well. Whoa, ba, ba, ba. There's something up with the explosions that are... <laughs> the game is like, oh man, I don't know how to deal with you. But there we go. That's, uh, I think that's all the new changes. I th there there might have been one more, one more thing that I can't quite remember off the top of my head. But a couple things, not a ton of things. Ooh, do we do it? I kind of want to just do like a, a nice regular run today. And by that, I mean, I think I want to see if I can go to the rat. The normal rat, not the uh, not the bonus rat. I think that could be fun. Uh, okay. I, I, okay. I do want whatever that is. Because it is a modded item, and therefore, I must get it. It's the law. I can't believe this guy's using commando to clear rooms. I see it now. What if I told you I don't need any gun except for my standard to perfect the first floor boss and it's gonna be A-OK. -okay. Don't you worry your pretty little freaking face. Okay, I'm kind of of the mind that junking the chests is the way to go right now. Because if we get a key from the boss, we should go to the sewers. How much money do we have? We need 45. We could sell... Uh, we could sell Junkin. That'd be pretty cursed. We could sell Command, though. That'd probably be a, a pretty dumb decision, though. I think for now, let's just... Let's just see what we get. We'll, we'll make our decision from there. Oh, Nelly! Also, watch us get a dang ammo drop from the boss anyways, making it so it was a no-brainer to use Commando. I feel like whenever I don't use Commando, I don't get, uh, don't, or whenever I don't use it, I get ammo drops. Whenever I do use it, I don't. Heck, that was bad. Oh, I wanted to kill with Commando by throwing it there. Whenever you start charging before the, uh, oh my god. Hey, look at that. We got the, um ornate pistol which is the starter weapon for the afflicted i mean that's pretty cool and i'll admit i did not expect to get two key drops 
I definitely did not anticipate that. We should probably sell something. Blanks protect. We should probably sell something if we want to go to the rat and this huge sad frown in my my deep in my heart says I, I, like let's be honest if if this was later and we like played a lot of mod the gungeon this would probably be the thing to sell but we haven't played a lot and i'm gonna say who needs it who needs it let's go down with the 35 casings i mean we may not get enough anyways and we may have broken the water barrel we did not okay all right but yeah, we got the ornate pistol. It's a it's a not bad gun. It's better than the dueling pistol. It's not amazing. But it's better than the dueling pistol. You might have been like, if you didn't see the afflicted episodes, you might have been like, why even compare it to the dueling pistol? Well, because it, it uses <laughs> dueling pistol shots. Uh yeah, 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 yeah. Yep, yep. Ooh, okay. Weird. Blanks will create a protective shield. This unusual amulet amulet was once in the possession of the betrayer Blockner, who fashioned it to his liking. The big question is, does it function like the other amulets where we get an extra blank when we move down? Because that'd be pretty cool. I before that. I before that very much. It does indeed. Okay, so then it's it's inherently a bit better just already. Yeah, it's a it's a nice it's a nice gun. It takes the uh, the dueling pistol and makes it appropriate for a weapon that you would want to waste <laughs> time using, aka maybe not waste time using because it's actually okay. I do want to get up to that shield, but it's like does it even matter? This is a rough room what the hell hit me from down there this room is actually kind of rough i got a lot of people leaving comments telling me to uh, uh turn off the big rooms the and a lot of how a lot of the uh, custom rooms <laughs> dang it uh are a bit on the unfair side for that i will say i'm gonna leave them on for a bit to see what people think still moving forward i think that some of them are rough i do agree i do like well now now uh a lot of the custom rooms we can't turn off without turning off uh expand the gungeon now like they're they're mixed in so it, it would have to be like a big old thing okay ring of discipline huh it'd have to be a big old decision it's like, do we want the whole mod floor and all the quality of life changes uh, to go away if it meant that we uh, had to ditch that due to the fact that, yeah, the, the custom rooms are, they're all, uh, well, like half of them are a part of that. All of Turtle Mountain's ones are part of Expand the Gungeon now. Never Named's ones are all, are all separate, but heck, it seems like people are, uh, are having issues with the, just the, the very large rooms, and I can... I can understand that. I can respect that. But uh, the the new update to expand the gungeon that turned them all into an expand the gungeon addition made it so apparently they're supposed to be less frequent. Frequent. So we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll work from there. Man, I missed the command though. Beast blood injection. I'm the. Fr I'm. I just am the freaking afflicted. So this takes HP and turns it into damage based off of based off of our curse. So the amount of curse we have determines how much damage it gives us when we sacrifice HP. If you if you don't know, it's it's a little more of a complex item than a lot of the other ones in the base game. But like once you get it, you get it. It's not that it's not that cra crazy of an idea, but it is a crazy uh, cool item. And I, I love risk reward. Unfortunately, right now our HP is so bad that I don't think I can afford to really mess with it. Right? I'm glad we have piercing. Okay. Uh, were there two stacked up there or something? It's a pretty small room for that. 
Uh. Okay, there was a key, right? Oh my god! Have we ever had the Ring of Discipline? Have we ever had the Ring of Discipline? No. We have not. All right. We're just going to get that. Don't be hasty. Bonus damage for each room cleared without dodge rolling. Removes one room's worth of bonus damage after dodge rolling in an uncle in an uncleared room. Worn only by the most devoted gun cultists who have defeated the urge to dodge roll recklessly. Jiminy Christmas. I mean, yeah, it's looking, obviously, very unlikely that we are going to... Uh... Oh, man. That's going to get me killed, ain't it? We got a slightly bigger room, but it's really... Oh, God. It's really not that bad. It's going to take... I'm going to so take damage. Because of not dodge rolling. Okay, what are we at? We're at one damage. We're at one da damage. Oh, man. We're going to run out of ammo in this sucker. We could just let Junkin do the job for us, pretty much. Oh, God. Oh, God. Come on. I just need to know how much damage we're going to get. Did it wait? Or did it tell me? 1.0.3. We got a... 3% damage up. I mean, I guess that's that adds up over time, but, like, we're going to need the dodge roll. Right? Oh, God. So many enemies that I do like to dodge roll against. So now we're at 1.0.5. So if we... Okay, we can dodge roll in rooms that... Uh, oh, man. This is... This is bad. You can dodge roll in rooms that, uh, that, you know, are cleared already. That helps. Boy, oh boy. Gotta admit, so there's a little rough here today. It's a little rough here today. It wouldn't be as rough if we, uh, didn't feel like we had to sell the commando. But in the end, oh my god. Gonna get screwed over anyway with the amount of money. All in it for that damage, baby. Come on, Junkin. All right, eight percent damage up. So it was, uh, it was a what? It was five percent. Wait, no, it went. It was three percent, and then it went to two percent, and then it was three percent again. So is it what, like two at two point five? Oh god, this, this, this looks like a dodge roll scenario. Go, 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 Junkin! Junkin! Help! Oh, never mind. Yeah, it's a pretty cool looking room. See, I like rooms like that where they're... It, it's fine if they're like a little bit bigger as long as it's just... You don't... The traversal space isn't as big. I think maybe the issue that people have is like... It's the big rooms with the tiny corridors and the fact that... There's not really a lot of room to dodge... Which does cause some problems. Heck. <laughs> Had to do it. Had to do it. We're going to take extreme damage because we're trying to get that big that big number. Oh, man. All right. So, at 47, we could buy a key. At this point, like, just sure. Just sure. Please do not be... Oh. 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 Okay. The odds of getting the rat key are now very slim, obviously. Bibbidi-bobbidi-boop. Okay, so it only, it only reduces it by one. I gotcha, I gotcha. I get it now. So we can't lose more. We can dodge roll like crazy now. I understand now. I understand. Man, I would love some uh, some HP back after this. 
does the item stack uh, between rooms? Or, sorry, between floors. Because I could actually see that... Now that I understand how it works, I could see it being fairly useful. I could see that being fairly useful indeed. Like, it, it'll add up over, over time. Man, black hole gun's great and everything. But it uh it doesn't do like a ton of damage. So if you don't have a if you don't have a good damaging gun to go with it, a lot of times you're in for a sad time. What on the hell? Okay. Bring it on, my friend. Bep, 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 bep. Bep, 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 bep. All right. Just use our standard now. We'll get there. Man, it's sloppy. If I get ammo... Ooh. Uh, Zakop. He will net us some curse later so we can actually... Uh, can net us some curse so we can actually uh, get a better beast blood injection. Yeah, the odds of us getting the rat key are slim. Slim as hell. Possible, but slim as hell. One oh five. We had five percent damage up. I'll take it though. Five percent and over the course of the whole run it could really add up especially you know now that we have the uh, the black hole gun which we can really use to abuse some rooms out of uh, you know making it so we don't have to dodge roll we can just like take a couple hits from time to time too heck no no we're down to three percent we can take a couple hits I know like I, like not on purpose but like I think like basically every single modded room ever seems to have two phases. I think that's a that's a thing that makes the runs take a lot longer. I know that a lot of the base rooms have two phases too, but it seems like almost every uh, almost every modded room seems to want to have two phases. Whoop! Oh boy! Oh boy! Just keep on doing it. I need to get damage up. It's really, really helpful to have the black hole gun right now with... Oh. Cell creep. <gasps> the ability to steal. There were those who said it c What the hell is this? What have you done? This is huge! Oh my god. It's all the enemies from the different pasts, but like... <laughs> god. Oh no. I mean, I love the... All the little chicks, I feel a little bad about it, but... Okay. We get a glass guan stone for our troubles. AKA, who cares? Please not two phases though. Okay. All right. All right. I mean, if we could get like some guaranteed chance bilans or something, or not chance bilans, chance bulletins, that'd be something. Are we done yet? Okay. Alright, we managed to do it. We're at 10% now. And the game is framey. Probably due to the fact that there's a billion animals in here. I'm gonna just save my at game's frame rate. And uh, kill the animals, I guess. Apparently. That's what I that's Rita McGee, that's what he's he likes to do. Oh. Okay. <laughs> All right. I have like several problems with that. <laughs> I have several problems with that room. 
several. <laughs> I love seeing the past enemies in there, but like... I just wish I could see him in a more uh, regular kind of room layout. Personally. Do not dodge. Do not dodge. Do not dodge. Okay. Come on, gang. Pets. Get him pets. From around the corner. Okay. Oh dream you know what <laughs> sue me i'm going for the ornate pistol i know it's wacky <sighs> man i do want that but i think i i think i goofed myself i think i goofed my chances kind of should have maybe considered picking that up to get more curse, to get more damage up when we eventually do decide to finally do our beast blood injection. But we need to start getting some uh, some HP. Make that happen. Alright. 20% damage up. This item's starting to stack. As long as we are cool with not dodging, which is obviously not easy to get away with in a lot of situations. Table tech speed sounds like a thing that would really help us with it. I'm, uh, if I remember correctly, that's one of Never Names that just gives you a big boost to speed, like a crazy boost to speed when you flip a table. 23% damage up. We're starting to, I'm starting to think that this item may stack out of control now. Now that I understand how it works, I thought it was like every time you dodge roll Every time you dodge roll in a, an uncleared room, you lose damage. But no. I say we, like, keep on stacking our damage as much as we can, and then as soon as we get to, like, a boss fight, we say, I who cares? That's my thought process right now. Can't believe all the damage we took on this floor was from walking into a chicken. Yeah, this item is like, it's very strong, actually. It's like, it's in that, uh, that metronome camp of, of items, but with less risk. Thirty-three percent damage up. Pretty nuts. Ooh, the hammer. Maybe we can do the boss fight without dodge roll. It's very unlikely. No, you can't do this boss without dodge rolling, right? Not the, like the beam. It's just, this is stupid, but I'm going to do it. It's a bad idea. Hello, this is a bad idea. Do your beam. Never mind. Just another <laughs> notch on the belt. We're going to put that down for a second just to do that. Obviously, now we're going to fill that up. All right. Should we try? There's a 50% chance we get away with it, I think. Sound like 50? I don't think we should. I think we, I think we cut our losses and we go. I think we cut our losses and go. It's very unlikely, I feel like. It might be less than 50%. It definitely feels like less than 50% because I never get away with it a second time. That 35% damage up though, baby. I'm into it. And now we got the black hole gun, which is gonna be doing even better. And the hammer, oh man. Black hole gun with this item. I think we got like We got a dream Synergy like soft dream soft synergy well Okay, I Literally have to dodge roll that Actually Take me away I get to clear another room Oh, heck. It was this one. Never mind. Well, he shouldn't be in there again. 
He shouldn't be in there again. And he's not. Cap. Does this item not have a cap either? This may be like a, a new broke, broke item. Like, God tier. At this rate. Oh. We haven't even started to do our, uh, our blood beast injection. So this is where the, uh, the rat, uh, the rat is. Don't have any keys though. You know what we could try to do? It might count as an uncleared room if we open up those. Oh, oh, this might, this might, we might be able to abuse this. Because this will close the doors. I don't know if that's going to count. Oh, Nelly! I love abusing the system! Gamester! Gamester Supreme! 3% damage up. For every one enemy we... Every one mushroom we kill. This is broken. This is called Stonks, sweetie. Look it up. Okay. Well, that... Well, that didn't count. I just gotta double check to make sure there was not a mushroom in this room. Because they are just... They're just free money now. And, and by free money, I mean free... Uh, damage. Where's that puff of smoke? I want to get it uncovered now so I don't have to look for it again later. I know I don't have a key right now. I can't believe the utter stonks. 55% damage up. 55% damage up. We are in there. Oh my god, there's a healing shrine! The utter stonks is going to be, this may be the most unassuming broken run. We should have waited to see if we could get some more curse. But still, wow. We are almost at a 2x multiplier. I mean, well, almost. We're in the realm of, uh, of getting it towards a 2x multiplier here. Hell yes. 73! 75! It's gotta be 2.5%. So yeah, they got the they got the chance to just not have anything in them too. Junk sounds great. Nope. Oh. I I I wow. I I just I wow wow. Wow. 83% damage up. 86! He can't be stopped! I mean, I'm gonna take a key, finally, and, uh... I will pop over here to do this so we can go to the rat. Do it right away so I don't forget. I... <laughs> ah, hello. And it's only going to get stronger over time, and we are only on the black powder mine. That is neat. Neat, 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 neat. Hup. Not yet. I want to go to the boss with the big boy damage. Okay. Oh. Not okay. There. 
Man, we're doing all this without dodging, too. That's like, that's the thing is, we have to not dodge. It's, a, it's an inherent challenge run. These mushrooms are obviously, like, <laughs> a great way to abuse the system. I kind of had a feeling since the doors closed, they would count as a room. All right, here we go, the big one. The 2.0. 2.0. That is, we have a 2x damage multiplier now. Just like that. Just need to never dodge roll. I wish I had the, uh, the jetpack. <laughs> oh. So when those ones happen, it's just a, uh, it's just, it's just an explosion. It's like, don't stand by this or you'll go kaboom. Like that. Also, I'm just like, I'm loving the hammer right now. It's just a nice, simple gun that do, just, it do good, do good work. Sorry, cop, I can't wait for you to die so I can get a huge chunk of curse. Okay. All right. Well, there you go. That would be great. Well, that would be great. I need money, obviously. Let's make that happen. Can I do this one without dodging? I do know it's a little bit on the slightly tougher side. Oh, we're good, we're good, we're good. Don't activate any mushrooms, because then we lose the damage. Well, we never gain the damage then. Okay. I just need to get to 32. How are you left? Need to get to 32 casings. That's the big dream. Oh, cut. Back up in case explosion. All right. <laughs> so now we have a 2x multiplier. And on top of that, we have plus one bullets, effectively. I don't think we're going to get enough for... Uh, the curse bullets, which is a little disappointing. But we might still. Yeah, that's right. That's right. That's okay. We're cool with it. We're cool with it. We're cool with it. I'm well aware that we're going to lose the one damage in the boss fight. Okay. Okay. I am glad that it doesn't make you lose it per dodge roll, but I almost think it should. <laughs> like, not I, uh, not saying I want it, but I'm being realistic. That would probably be more balanced. We did not get enough money. Maybe if we junk a chest or so. Man, I, I almost wish we straight up kept the ability to steal. Well, nah, nah, we get, you know, junk and upgrade pool. Okay. And we're off. I mean, that's fine. That's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. How could I be mad? With a damage multiplier like this, how could I be mad? We only have two curse. And we, I, I guess, so we get what? Do we get 2.5 or do we get two or two or three, maybe three? Damage, 3% damage per curse we have? Or 1.5% damage per curse we have? It went up by three. Could be, it could even be like 1.25. I don't know. Somewhere between one and one and a half per curse, it looks like. Uh, percentage. All right. Up, up, down, right, down, up. 
I don't know if this counts as a clearable room or not. I just want to make sure. Up. Up. <laughs> up, up. Next is down. It's a great, great way to uh, not have to dodge as well. Down, right. Yeah, it's okay. All right, we can dodge roll all we want now. We already took the uh, took the hit. Right. Next is down. Okay. Up. Ladies and gentlemen, we are good. I guess we'll fill up this. All right. Bring it on, my friend. We're gonna have to dodge, right? I guess that's a, that's a bold assumption. Damage or dodge? Damage or dam? Wait, take damage or, or gain damage? You gotta pick between the two. Up that shield, and we just stand still. All right, we tech we did it without take uh, without dodging, so we gained damage. Yeah, we took a shield's worth of damage, but it's for the memes. For the memes, we gotta. Most runs we get this ring. I feel like uh, probably won't you know have black hole done to make it so easy. I, yeah, I think I'm gonna... For my mental state, I think maybe dodging in this fight is going to be a good idea. But at the same time... Yeah, okay, let's just dodge. <laughs> Alright. I made my decision. What the hell do I do to dodge that one? <laughs> when it's being black hole gun. Dumb? Dumb boy? Heck. Oh boy. Not bad. We in there. Do the jump move. Wow. <laughs> Pretty crazy. Pretty crazy. Show me a bunch of new items, my friend. Uh, there's a new item. Hunter's Journal. Yep. Another new item. See, coming here is a good idea. We get so many good, uh, so many new items. Oh, the leg, though. Get out of here. Nope. What if I just said lag again? Would you believe me? Even though you can see it. <laughs> there. And there! Ah! Rat sack! Okay. A cursed item. You'll shoot your eye out. Needle bullets. Massively increases shot speed. Bullets pierce all enemies. Cool. Old limited edition Gungeon themed thumbtacks can be found in large quantities throughout the Gungeon's depths. They have become a favorite among gun dead. Despite their lack of thumbs, nobody knows why or how these bullets gain their arcane powers. Perhaps the Gungeon favors its own likeness. 
I do believe I've had it before. I'm not sure if it was on stream or in the uh, in the series. But I'm for it. I'm for it. You know, like ghost bullets. We had to pass those up earlier. And this is kind of just those. Uh, rat boots. I'll take the rat boots and then whatever is in, uh, yeah, which, whatever was in the rat sack chest. Alright. Actually. I, 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 whoops. I think there was some HP up top that we, we should have, ah, uh, we should have done it with the, uh, the HP that was left on the, uh, on the floor before the rat as well. Uh, it's a misplay. I'm not used to actually having this item. Alright. Whoa! Bow, bow, bow! Zip, zip, zip! Yeah, dang, that's some... That's some rocket-powered speed. There's another one of... Yeah, I was gonna say, if there's another one of those, we gotta start running. Otherwise, we're gonna have to dodge roll. It's gonna... We're gonna literally have to, otherwise. So big. It's so chonky. Nope. 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 I'm. I want the damage. Jesus Christ. Okay. There it go. Damage. Oh boy. Okay. It's another big. I feel like uh, one of the issues with the balance of the rooms d is due to the fact that a lot of them are balanced if you know where the things are that you placed, but you have to keep in mind what the camera can see while you're playing. And big rooms mean lots of stuff off camera. Lots of stuff off camera means lots of situations where you're like, ah, oh. like, like there's no way I could have known that that ice, that ice cube boyo was going to be coming for me because just the rooms do me. I'd have to, like, I have to play it multiple times to, to know that that's going to be there. Oh, I'm loving this fast fire piercing. It's good. Not to mention that gaining damage right now is actually like a good thing for us. Or sorry, gaining curse. <laughs> Obviously great. Gaining damage, believe it or not, I think it's actually good for us. Cell creep. Just like that, I don't think there's a point to going to the um, that room in front of the alt floor. Oh, blank. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I just realized we got. Wait, was it not there? Hold on, was it not there? Slightly increases ammo drop rate. Or, no, slightly increases drop rate. Filled with maps and answers to half-forgotten riddles ever since the hunter was a child. She had a knack for finding things. I believe this was originally going to be uh, the hunter, one of the hunter's uh, starting items. You know what? Sure. I'll just I'll take the money for that instead. Just gotta go, I uh, wanna go see what that thing thing is. I mean, I believe it's an active. It's my educated guess. It's not. Blank spell book. Old grimoire emanating magical energy. The first page describes a spell that can be used to transmogrify enemies. The rest of its pages are blank. Educated guess. Blank. Blanks polymorph. Blanks have a chance to polymorph. That is pretty slick. That is pretty slick. I love it. Damage is getting out of control. You know what this item needs more than anything? The, the, the one that's obviously completely breaking the game in our favor right now. It just needs a max cap for how much you can stack. Probably, you know, the same way that the Gilded Bullets has one. Probably should just be a maximum stack. I think that's the way to counteract uh, the abuse of it. 
Because you don't want it to not feel satisfying to have a run where you've done a really good job. Like, hell, I, I, it could be a 2x multiplier. If you can pull that off, I feel like, you know. I feel like uh, you deserve it. Origani. Whoa. Yeah, okay. Uh, <laughs> the fast bullets with Origani. I feel like we're not really going to be able to remote bulletify them. I feel like I just feel like I can't dodge roll, but I can. I can dodge roll in between uh, big rooms. Okay. This isn't like literally anything. That that that. I'm actually really digging this with what we've got right now with the fast fire. Uh oh. All right. Getting a good amount of extra HP. Don't mind me. That looks like Wallmonger. Uh, we should be able to abuse Wallmonger with the uh, Black Hole Gun really easily. Pop. Pop. Resist urge to dodge roll over. Okay. When are we gonna do our dang damage? I mean, we're gonna we got the ones in the uh, in the gumball machine right now. We'll definitely do that. Obviously. Okay. Whoa, the piercing. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Oh my god. Alright. So with piercing you can't get a, a, a double beam. I thought you could get a double beam. Maybe not. I, I'm just filling up the hammer. Why? Why? Why not? I guess. What is that? Snare bullets. Shots may slow enemies. To capture something, you must lure it in with something familiar. Cool. I'm assuming it does the uh, the snail slow effect, which I've always said it's weird that it only appears in, like, one gun ever. Just do that for the extra damage. Yes, well, my God. It's Wallmonger. Oh, no. The fast bullets are not helping us, actually. Heck. All right. Let's just... Uh, let's just deal. And by that, I mean... Let's try to abuse this, uh, this shield here. Until we just happen to win. Because our damage is truly ridiculous. We didn't even need to dodge roll on the wallmonger. That's how nuts things are getting. All right. We, uh, <laughs> we move it. We move it, move it. You mean a, a modded run that's under an hour, 20 minutes? Impossible. Impossible. Curse three. I... Am so here. I'll curse myself as a result. Heck, I keep on uh, I keep on forgetting to do that. It's almost like it doesn't matter at all, though. What if I said that? <laughs> it's almost like our damage is so ridiculous that getting more is frankly a little overkill. It's almost like that. He's dead. Okay, extra damage up. Oh, the blank does sound nice. Some more curse. More curse means more damage. Also, Elder Blank is obviously just very good. Oh, 
mini boss is going to be very fun to see. There's no boss damage cap on that sucker. Bip, bop, but I don't stop. Oh, you're staying alive longer than I thought you might. I'll say that for sure. Okay, went up 4%. Uh, tough room. I liked it. High damage with piercing. This is, this is like, this is, this is, this, that's a lot. Like, if, if I wasn't broke, like completely broken, I'd be a little uh, confused about how I was supposed to deal with that one. But I'm very, very broken. So I'm not concerned at all. Just trying to, ooh. Ooh, that works nice with the shield effect. That's fun. The fun little item. Yeah, the fast bullets are indeed making black hole guns seem a little bit worse. Where are you? Get him! Get him! Alright, what was for sale? Rock powered bullets. I mean, yeah, let's go for that. It's a little extra curse. Also, it's very good. Magic mirror. Caliber's looking glass. Also cursed. It's inactive. Reflects nearby bullets. Okay. Forged around a shard of glass found in the foot of a shattered mirror. Emanates a dark energy that frightens bullets to their core. Oops. <laughs> Oh, so, so it's a one-shot bop item. Okay. Not one-shot bop, but like a... It's not like an overtime thing. Okay. Nope, you're far too late there, my friend. Far too late. Uh, is it charge up quick? Seems like it charges up uh, relatively quick. Relatively. If it one shot that guy, I would be a happy camp. Whoa! It's the Uno reverse card. <laughs> it exists. It's the Uno reverse card. Oh my god! I didn't even think about that. We do put down the shield as well. We're like. Discovering brand new ways that we are unbelievably broken. Brand new ways that we are unbelievably broken. Every few moments. And I feel like this Hunter's Journal is like really giving us a lot of drops. Okay. Uno reverse. Oh, it's everything. It's everything on the screen. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That is the. That's the Uno reverse card. All right. That's a, like li literally exactly what I'm saying. Should should be added. Already exists, baby. Oh my god. And we have. That's right. And we have the blank spell book. This is just dirty. Just dirty. Mahogany? Oh, now we've got to run. Man. Should we turn, <laughs> turn the damage cap back? I don't know. Probably not. I feel like we just want to do a, uh, a nice multi... multi-shot thing. Well, you know what? The Uno reverse card. Bam. Nope. Stand on this. Wait for the Uno reverse card again. 
And there's many shots on the screen. Oh my god, I love it. Don't touch me. I oh yeah, forgot about that. Oh no. Man, the jam boss got that thick HP. Oh, here we go. Timing is of everything here. Go! Oh! <laughs> oh, it's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. Oh my god, we have like so many tools to meme them. Wow. Meme dream. Meme dream. All right. You selling HP? I'm selling HP. Good. Three point six nine. Ethron three six nine. Dip, 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 dip. Rat boots. Off I go then. Holy mole. It's it's an under an hour mod the gungeon run. Yes, I know we didn't go to the alt floors, but we haven't done that. There, there's been some runs where we haven't gone to any alt floor. Well, we actually even, even did go to the rat. And we did go to the sewers, didn't we? We went to the rat and we went to the sewers. It's almost like this run is just crazy because our damage is 3.69 times as much. Who would have thought? Well, it's not 2.69 times as much, but still. Wait, yep. Wait, yes. <laughs> okay, wait, yes. Second guess math. We need to stop taking damage for the, uh, if we're gonna... Oh, God. You know what? Get out of my swamp. It's just, it's too fast. The bullet's too fast. I'm not gonna drop the dang thumbtacks. Oh. I'm not going to drop the dang thumbtacks, though. Bep, bep, bep. Boop, boop, boop. Just need a nice, like, fast fire rate thing that'll cover a lot of ground, because Bullet Hell has about, like... Uh, I don't know who it is who has the extreme passion for Blobulons, but... <laughs> I'm... I feel like it's... Wait, what the hell? Uh, five of those shots really look like they should have hit. I feel like it's Apache Thunder. Is my guess. I feel like, I feel like they were just in. Uh, I've seen them just in expand the gungeon. All right, I'm gonna start dodging if I feel like I have to. Oh my God! Stop it! Stop it! It's too long. <laughs> it's too long. Ah, man, man, oh man. Uh, let the other rooms shine, okay? Let the other rooms play the video game, too. Thanks. Dang, man. Too long, too long, too long. Too many phases. Okay. Okay. A lot of these rooms, I feel like we don't have to, we don't have to dodge. I don't remember if there's two phases or not in this one. Yeah, I didn't think so. I, I, I felt like that one was not, uh, not a multi-phase. Gotta get the UNO reverse card back on. Tempted to drop the beast blood injection so I don't put myself in turmoil no more. You'd think with the amount of damage we do, these things would be dying uh, even quicker. I think we might have to dodge roll. Maybe if we use all of the tools in our backpack, we won't have to dodge.
Okay, I, I think maybe that's possible. I think it might actually be possible. Well, howdy. No. This room is still a little baloney. I feel like it'll always, I'll always think it's a little baloney, even when we're strong. Just because, like, I had, you know, like, I know it's stupid. Like, I had to dodge there. Wah. Yep. All right. All right. Heck. <laughs> I just had to cycle. I have so many active items. That I'm trying to cycle through to make it so I don't have to dodge. So I can keep accruing that big boy damage. That is long since uh, become a silly idea to try and aim for. I mean, like, we should just dodge at this point. We gotta be careful about our HP. The blooper is very hilarious right now. Get here! That magic mirror is so fun. So fun. Also, does it technically count as a blank effect? Because it's taking from uh, it's taking from uh, the other blank synergy. I think probably right. Yeah. I'd imagine. I'd imagine so. We're really running out of ammo. Mahogany might be okay. Send it back. I send it back. Okay. Fine. <laughs> if this wasn't in the base game, I would say this is this this is made by the same person who makes all the other 2000 uh, blob rooms. But the thing that's that's nice about this one is that there is two phases, or maybe even three, but they kind of, like, overlap each other. There's not a ton of them, and they just, like... It, it, it's just the, the room doesn't take very long. And, like, I, I, I don't know. Ooh. A lot of my least favorite bullet hell rooms from the base game are the, these big, chonky ones, like this. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Thank you. What are we at? We're almost, we've almost hit the 4x multiplier. Heck. Just send it all back. I send it all back. All right. Oh, oh, hi. Whoa. He went kapoof. Cat. Stupid of me. But alas. Oh, <laughs> oh, that item cycle. It's got so many of them, I just don't know which one is the dang right one. I'm surprised that these enemies are taking so long to die. Our ammo capacity is like... Our ammo is just not the best right now. Nope! It's funny, they spelled out no, but I'm the one who denied them. Ip, ip, ip. I feel like we should... Uh, I'm going to drop these blood injections just to make uh, cycling easier. We got we gotta, some items that we have to pretty much use, like, reaction styles on the fly. I can't believe we're actually, like, using this stinker here. It's it's pretty good. It, like, I mean, I know that, obviously, we have crazy damage ups, but it's amazing what just three rapid-fire dueling pistol shots in a row 
will do. It makes the gun kind of fun to use. Bop, bop, bop. No, 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 no. This is another one of those rooms that is t is too long, if I remember correctly. Multi-phase or, or what? What's up with it? What's up with it? Oh, my God. Yeah, no, this is... Uh, this is what I would like to call a classic way too many. <laughs> way too many enemies. Get him, Junkin. All right. Big boy, big boy boss. Big boy, big boss. Oh! It's sad that it doesn't do that much damage. We're gonna obviously take the damage hits so that we can uh, mess around with the uh, resourceful rat sack and everything here. But magic mirror seems truly quite good for like bosses. It doesn't really matter. Like we we shouldn't be trying to find the biggest reflect for damage since it just uh, doesn't matter. The boss damage cap is going to stop most of them from uh, doing a big bunch. Obviously, we wouldn't want to do that one, but other than that, we're good. Ladies and gentlemen, what a freaking run. What a freaking run. We almost hit that. We hit like roughly 4x, 4x damage, 400% damage. Or a 4.0 damage multiplier, whatever you want, whatever you want to put it at. 4.0 damage. It's nuts. It's nuts. That's what it is. Okay. Oh, I'm glad that lasts a little bit longer than it probably should. Blip. I love how the game has to think a little bit when I when I send it back. That's how you know you picked the good time. Like you picked the high high bullet time to save yourself boom oh we didn't dodge roll there okay you know we gotta not dodge roll to try to get that extra little oh what the hell that extra little bit just for the hell of it even if we take damage Stupid of me. Send it back! I send it back! Yes, we slowed him! Yes! Uh, we, we did it, I think. We technically... Yep. Ah, 3.99. Not quite, but I mean... We did. Okay, that ring is... Very good, very busted. I was worried we were going to take a lot of damage, and I was worried for some reason that it was going to reset at the end of floors, and I was worried that whenever we dodge rolled, the stat went down. Which, honestly, like, it's so good. That should almost... I, I think that there needs to be one of two things. One, uh, just a max cap the way that there kind of is with uh, with gilded bullets. I think that that might be realistic uh, and a good fix. Another thing would be just the, uh, I, it could it could reset for every dodge roll you do down like half as much and it's for every single dodge roll, but you obviously, you can't go below what the item is giving you to start with. That could, be, that could be a good way to make it a, a nice, more balanced item. But honestly, for now, I'm just happy I got to experience it exactly how it was. It looks so unassuming. It looks so unassuming, but it's truly God tier. That is going to do it for today, though. Thank you, everybody, for watching. I greatly appreciate any and all support recently on the series up to this point. After this, I highly recommend you go check out the brand new... I uh, mod the Gungeon series. The brand new One Step from Eden series. There should be about... There should be two episodes out on it now. Highly recommended. Like I said, very fast-paced, action-heavy roguelike with some deck-building elements. Very, very cool. But for now, thank you for watching. Extra special thank you to D-Hex, Throbo, Nadell, Rick, Justice, Tom, The Shogun Gun, More Than Awesome, Semi, Colin P, and Patricia for supporting on Patreon at the Go Team Gungeon tier. If you want to help 
me do this full time and get all kinds of rewards such as voting in polls to decide what series I do, uh, roles in the Discord, name in the description, shout outs to the end of Gunge videos, patreon.com slash retromage is a great way to do that and help make it so I can do this as my full time job. Thank you, thank you. See you next time.